I'm Dudley Thompson and welcome to WDT Media TV. We are here at Supernice Cook Shop. We're going to find out how the styrofoam ban is affecting business here at Supernice and other food establishments. We're joined by Tony from Supernice Cook Shop. Tell us, Tony, how the business, how the styrofoam ban is affecting business at the moment at Supernice Cook Shop. Well, to be honest with you, it not affect me at this moment, you know, because I still get them to purchase, mm -hmm. and the new box that I bring in, they're not flood the island, that's everybody can get it. Yeah. And they are very expensive, mm -hmm. yeah, because 50, at the burger one, it was $1,200, mm -hmm. and the third phone box, it was five to $600 mm -hmm. to 50. So the government have to decrease the price on those boxes that we bring, I bring, our so-called boxes that I bring in, because it's very high. So all you're going to make money off of that as a ghetto shop, a poor people you're dealing with. See, you know, I'm not saying they're there for poor people. So sure, I'm not there for poor people. So I say, uptown, yes, because I'm a fast crowd up there. So you know, ghetto, we don't have that energy and that crowd. You understand? We, have, we know we look after food better than we do uptown. And it tastes better. Right. But the box, too expensive for ghetto people. So you're saying the, container, so, the new cost of the containers will affect the price of, of food going forward? Yes. And we can't raise our food because remember so we sell chicken back and all them something. Mm -hmm. And we have to put it in a container, we can't put that people on. Mm -hmm. You understand? So the government, which is the MP and the Prime Minister for this constituency, where we all look up to. Yeah? And the mayor, the Kingston, is the mayor and the council for this division. Come on. So they say we that have to do better so for the we, cost of so the new. We're going to lock down super nice shop. They pick them, can't get them chicken back because we can't afford the box them and we can't afford this and we can't afford that. So the one I send me got was a big old man. Alright, um, alright, alright, um, for the viewers though, give us some the cost of the the turf room box per hundred, if you can remember. Well, alright, I buy fifty at the burger box, you say call it four hundred and something dollars at the whole side. Yeah, and the new the yeah. new boxes now? The new boxes, um well, right to spy there and what cars say twelve hundred and pay Fifty of them boxes where they can't fall over us. I like that two buttons at the side and lock. Come on. So it's three ten. It's three ten. Triple time. Triple time. The, time the cost man. of the styrofoam boxes. Yeah, that may I tell you. And, and, and they have some little paper boxes. So Beer line in the styrofoam box. Why do you me, me try the, one of the paper boxes? Share some food and, and put fix the two sides them properly. Fold it and put it in a bag. Paper bag. The paper bag boss and the bag just the, the box just go up, fall apart. Me have to find. Maybe I have a store of home plate, just share the food and the lady and cover it with file paper. So I lose. So it doesn't make sense. So, so I agree with the government are doing it. Don't have me wrong, you know. Yeah, yeah, the man agree with them. What I got in America, I get out of styrofoam box. Why do you go to Canada funeral? I get out of styrofoam box. So I don't swear to me. Because Jamaica people must learn to dump their garbage and dispose their garbage properly. And we'll be on the good side. But Jamaica people throw things through the window when they drive. They'll be everything wrong. Oh, Jamaica yeah. people must learn to abide by rules and regulations and by the law keeping this country clean. That's true. You notice when you pass a my shop, you don't see a box. Right. And I see a box out there, I put it in the garbage, I dispose of it. If Jamaica, old Jamaica, they'll take that and I dispose of the garbage and right and proper way. We wouldn't have this drastic thing where the government bring down. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't have feel a pinch now. But what? Right. Because the lack of basic Jamaica and them, they don't dispose of garbage. And that's wrong. And the garbage. Man, to pick up the garbage, if you blame to car, once in a blue moon, they come to the garbage. Yeah, they don't come, come frequent as they should. You flim that too. Yes, and you yes. See how much garbage was here the other day. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is what we have to do. Black the road and stop a garbage truck and, and load them up. My son of him wrote me saying that we don't miss this. We don't need to do it like that. Mm -hmm. Because we're not going to make the MP and the Prime Minister for the constituents look bad. See, mm -hmm. take care of your yard first before you take care of anyone else. Because your yard make you dewish by your neck. And we don't to take care of your yard, you're not going to do with your death. You ah. understand? I like, go for the me and the Prime Minister. Take care of your yard. The people them love you. So you don't grind upon the love for, and take them love for granted. So I said, so the garbage truck man for blame too. Because they want to pick up the garbage on time. You understand what I said? Yeah, so at the end of the day, the business now boom out for boom. Because you can't get back to put the food in there. You can't get this. I know they want to do this high price for them new boxes. So, I said, go oh, super nice. My day, I mean, I try to hold it the best way I don't. If not, we can't hold it, we just leave Jamaica. Simple as that. I go there. We just heard there from Tony from Super Nice Cook Shop. Talk about the impact the container is having on his business. We're now joined by the man called Carson, the man who sells a hamburger 
all the fried stuff here along Robin Road. Carson, tell us, tell the world now how this styrofoam ban is affecting business at this point in time. Uh, you, are, you see, don't mm. you? You mean the entire world? The entire world at least. You see, these things, it's a nice thing, right? These are the ones we just grab the ass. Mm -hmm. And we, they want us to buy right now. Yeah. Right? You fold them like this. So you have the all size then come into, mm -hmm. and they end up turning into a little food box. Right? Yeah, yeah. But the problem what we have now as a business person, they're so very expensive. And these. Those are, these are, they, are these those ones. are the car. Uh, let, 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 let Jamaica, they're probably um, so all those don't know them, like overseas. I don't know. No. These are the styrofoam um, boxes these that have been banned since New Year's Day by yeah. the government of Jamaica. They are right. no illegal in Jamaica to sell um, to the public right. emit food. So these are the banned ones. So these ones are about 500 to 600 Jamaican dollars. Per how much? For 50, for, for 50 of them, alright. These one are 25, these are for about $1,100. For, 20, for 25? Yes, for 25 of So these one are, these worse. These are the ones they say you must buy. They're made of, um, what do you call it? I don't remember what it made of. Mm. But these are the next one. These are the ones we call burger size box. Yes. Right? So this is the next one. All the 25 we can afford. Right, I think this look cheap, I believe, but this is more dear. Mm -hmm. Right, these are the ones they said for us to buy. And plus, this one now, this is the next one now. Yes, this is the next one now, but they say we're supposed to buy. Obviously, they are very thick. Yes. These are the bigger nice ones. Angle. But the next problem with this is the price for this. So this is dearer than a lot of these. Right. This is the same material but bigger same. size. Right. Same material but bigger size. And this is the paper one. This is the long time paper. This is the long right. time what you call they the corvette box back in the these, back in the 70s, 60s. Right. They have these in many sizes as well. And so as it, but they are very so expensive. When the customer come here you know, to buy a product as they usually, mm. I just add on 20 of them are complaining already. And we imagine the government do not raise food as yet. So imagine when food raised now, what can happen? Another price going up price, and that will be a lot of issue and the customers, a lot of problems. Right? See? Because told me so many things going up so high, the price is so very high. So if if we can get we can do get them, yes, but some place we can get them. Mm -hmm. But if we do drop the price now and this the government can do that now, we'll be much Jamaica will be much better. Mm -hmm. So no you're problem. saying if these prices will come down as a price of this styrofoam container, right. won't be a problem? No problem. So the problem is the cost, is the issue, the cost? Definitely, the cost is the problem. So that's why you see we have put our local panel, local stuff that we have sold here. Yeah. So the customer have a local issue with the steel, because they said they're not eating the box. So why them um, pay extra for it? So, yeah. so obviously they have a point, but obviously, as I said, if, they, if these can cut on the price, it will be perfect. So what if a case where a customer carry is our own container? Well, I hear them saying that, but they don't have that idea. You know I mean? They're just all talking, but they don't. They don't know what they want to No, they're not pleased with that. So they know what, as they usually do, buy them food, get in a, get in a container, and that's it. So one place, one, one thing. So, as I said, they don't have that. They don't have that. That look, but look too stupid to them. Can yeah, walk with can container, can come buy food, and come carry a container home, and eat for eat on the road. That, that looks stupid to them, so that's why it's not a good idea. Then. So as all the things, they are very nice, right? And I understand the government are look for safety. Yeah. For us to eat right and eat, uh, eat with the right product too. So mm. obviously, it's just a cost. So if you mind the government can do something work on it, right? It'll be perfectly. Good in Jamaica. So again, the styrofoam container you're seeing here, right. is that the one that is that one I've been. Right now, these are the ones we have to be, we can't be using anymore. Right? You know, it's the styrofoam material here is that one that's been banned right. by the government. These ones will be banned by the government and replaced by the more cardboard type and boxes. Again, the styrofoam boxes you're seeing here. Right. And again, as you heard here, the issue is not the ban, but the cost for the new containers. That's the main concern among persons who sell food to the general public. All right, see so right there, from the man called Carson. Bless it's a record, all right? Have a blessed day and a blessed Jamaica. Bless. God bless we are now at Mullins Snack and Pastry. Yeah. 
We are joined by Miss Charlene Lowe here at Mullins Snack and Pastry. Tell us, Charlene Lowe, how do you start off from ban is affecting business at this establishment? It's really affecting business as it, per, as it concerning the price of food because you know the other box that they have implemented cost two times the money as the styrofoam box. So you know we would have to raise the price of the food and you know that's a no-no in the inner city because people already don't have enough money to buy food. Mm. So I think it's a good move still but you have to think about it on both sides as it relates to the persons who are selling food and the persons who are buying food. I think the government need to implement um, proper recycling systems so that the styrofoam don't end up in the gullies instead of banning it and costing more on consumers and retail retailers. But um, some say the new containers cost as but a three times the amount than it's the styrofoam. It does because today I did some inquiry and you have two different types. You have the cardboard box, the one that you have to assemble, and you have the, the other one that look like the styrofoam. Yeah. Well, the cardboard box is actually, I think it's one and a half times the cost of the styrofoam, while the other boxes are two and a half times. So it's really going to put a damper on business because when people would pay three fifty for chicken and chips in the styrofoam, we're going to have to increase it by around 25%. Because you know, oh. yes, because we have to spend more to buy the different Our types content. of box, yes. yes. So it's really going to put a damper on business. So what if persons was to come here with their own container? Well, that would be so convenient, it would. That would make the cost remain as, as is? Yes, sure. Alright, you're here, coming to you live here on WDT Media TV. I hear it from Miss Charlene Lowe from Mullins Snack and Pastries. I'm Dudley Thompson for Roots of N News and WDT Media TV. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and also tune into the Dudley Thompson Show. Thanks in advance.